Petto class. So I hope you enjoyed your number hunt around your room. We're going to have a look at the number hunt here together just to make sure that we're putting the numbers in the right order. So in this bedroom, you can see that the numbers are hidden around the bedroom from one to eight. And your job was to put the numbers in order from the smallest number to the largest number. So the smallest number we can see here is number one. So we need to start with number one if we're putting the numbers in the right order. So number one was down there by the car. So we'll start with number one. What comes after number one when we are counting? Yes, that's right. It's number two, isn't it? And here we can see number two up here on the top shelf next to the box. So we've got one, two, after number two comes number three. Yes, you were right. And have a look. Let's find number three. It's down here under the bed, isn't it? Number three. Okay, so when we've done number three, we need to look for the next number. One more than number three is number four, isn't it? There it is on the bedside table, number four. So we've got one, two, three, four. What comes after four when we are counting? It's number five, isn't it? And where is number five? It's here, isn't it, on top of the shelf. So number five's next. One, two, three, four, five. So what comes after number five? One more than five is number... It's number six, isn't it? You were right. And number six is down here on the rug, isn't it? There's number six. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. After number six comes number... Number seven, isn't it? And where is number seven in the bedroom? Oh, it's down here on the pillow. Number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one more than seven is our number of the week. This week, it's number... Number eight, isn't it? And there's number eight on the shelf. Our number of the week this week. So let's check our numbers. Make sure they're in the right order. We've got number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big well done putting those numbers in the right order. From the smallest number, number one, to the largest number that we have here, number eight. Okay, so today we are looking at our money work and I've asked you if you can get together some coins or you could use something round like beads or buttons or stones and you could use those as your coins or you could draw your own coins and cut them out. You will need eight of them ready to pay in my pizza shop today. So press pause while you get those ready and then come back and we'll see if we can pay for the pizzas. Okay, welcome back. So you should have your eight coins or the things that you're using as coins. So make sure you've counted them and double check that you have eight because you're going to see if you can pay for things in my pizza shop. Now in my pizza shop, on each piece of pizza, you have to pay one pence for each of the toppings. So, I'm the shopkeeper. I need to work out how much I'm going to charge you to pay for this slice of pizza. So, let me count the toppings. One, two, three, four, five. So, there's five slices of pepperoni. So... I'm going to charge you five pence for that slice of pizza for the five toppings. So you need to press pause now and see if you can count out 
five pence using your real or pretend coins. Okay, welcome back. Have you counted out your five pence? Let's see what that will look like. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five pence. So we have some coins left over from our eight. We're paying five pence. One, two, three, four, five pence. And you should have one, two, three coins left over because you started with eight, didn't you? And five and three go together to make eight. Okay, put all your coins back together again. So you've got all eight together again. And let's see if we can work out how much to charge you for this slice of pizza. One, two, three. So this piece of pizza is a little bit cheaper. It only has three toppings. So I'm going to charge you three pence for this slice of pizza. Three pence. So press pause and have a go at counting out three pence from your coins. Okay, welcome back. Let's see what three pence will look like. One, two, three. Three pence. We have one, two, three coins, don't we, to pay for three pence. And you will have quite a few coins left over. Press pause and count how many coins you have left over. Okay, if you counted them, you should have one, two, three, four, five pence left over from your eight pence. Because five and three go together to make eight, don't they? Okay, so our Final piece of pizza in the pizza shop. Looks like it's got a few more toppings on today. We're going to count the pepperonis and the pieces of pepper to find out how much money you will be charged for this piece of pizza. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness, eight pence for this slice of pizza. Press pause and count out eight pence for this slice of pizza. Okay, welcome back. Let's see what eight pence will look like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight pence for this slice of pizza and you have used all of your eight pence, your one penny pieces, haven't you? All eight of them. You have no money left over, no change left aside this time because we've used the whole eight pence, all of our eight 1p coins, haven't we? A big well done. You have done a fantastic job today at paying for things in my pizza shop. Well done you.